Hey there folks, my name is Shook and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Um, I was just noticing that the name of the game is not actually on the screen, or at least not in English. But I will, get, I will tell you guys, the name of this game is Pack a Plus. If you didn't realize from the title of the, of the episode or the video, so yeah. Uh, I would like to thank the guys over at Pack a Project and Psycho Project for letting me try this game out for free. Uh, this this is a pretty goofy game, pretty goofy visual novel. This is gonna be a series, not just one of my random gaming uh, videos. Uh, I've been wanting to do a, another visual novel again. I haven't. I've been think. I was thinking about one, and I was. I picked up. Uh, while it's on sale uh, yesterday, I picked up the DLC to Go Go Nippon. So I'm thinking that'll be the the next big visual novel that I will play. Because I think it's supposed to be pretty big, uh, especially including the DLCs. Uh, but then, last night I got this game and I was like, I was like, yes! This is supposed to be goofy like, from the concept, Just I, I'm pretty blind to like a lot of it. But the basic pres uh, premise uh, feels very Hattiful Boyfriend. And Hattiful Boyfriend was goofy, and I, which I like. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys yet what this game is about. We're going to discover that together. I, I know more than you guys do, possibly. I mean, you guys can go look it up and Google and stuff. So, I mean, it's not like it's that difficult to find. But, but yeah, let's get on with it. Um, hopefully this is recording okay. I, it took me a little bit to figure out a way to record it. Uh, I always, always love it when a, a game uh, refuses to start up properly when recording software is running. Ran to that. It's that's that's kind of an annoying thing, but I I think I've got a situation figured out. Hopefully it won't uh, screw up. A violin melody can be heard in the distance. Oh, it, enter is not. Guess I have to click. It's a pleasing sound. Some of the highlands is calm and clear with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with morning dew, I quietly close my eyes and lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here like this forever. Hmm, isn't, isn't it still summer? Summer vacation? Why is my alarm going off? He was dreaming. I'm going back to sleep. It is nearly halfway through summer vacation. I, Kazuma Seke, Seki, uh, cling greedily to my pillow and dream. Determined to sleep in. <laughs> the abrupt ringing of my cell phone tears me away from my thoughts of laziness. Hello, oh, oh, Yukari, yeah, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm up. Uh, I mean, I just woke up. Uh, what's going on? Why are you calling so early? Why are you calling me so early? I'm hoping that it's actually not late. I'm assuming that it's not late. It could be late. Now I'm the guy who looks stupid here. Hmm, really? Oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah, it will. I'll, I'll get ready right away. Seems like preparations for the school festival are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. Let's, uh... We should speed it up. Oh, boom! Right there. A single, you you should do it too, Kazuma, from my girlfriend, Yukari, it was all it took to make me a committee member. Let's actually do that, yeah. Or that's what I remember, at least. Think about eating breakfast. I'll just think it, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, you sound like my mom. Hmm. 
Got it. So I'll see you at the usual spot at the usual time. How usual. After the Yukari's wake up call, I quickly get ready and jump into, or rather, onto my sweet ride. Since it's just a bicycle and rush out of my house. My sweet ride. So he rides a bus, uh, rides a bicycle to a bus stop? Or maybe this, hmm, I don't know. I should say, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm not one for transportation like that. I've, I've uh, never lived in a place with bus stops, so yeah. I don't know how that works. Didn't ride the bus too often as a kid either. Did some though. I don't think they. I don't think they actually have. A, I think this is the like, public transit that they're talking. I don't think they're talking like a school bus. I don't even know if they have that in Japan. I might have that. I might have school buses in Japan. Probably not though. I run off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Kari should have gotten on the bus at the usual time. So if I don't hurry, I'm going to be late. Oh, maybe he's supposed to be meeting her. Yeah. She's going to be riding the bus, and he's going to be meeting her there. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. <sighs> Whew. Out of breath and with sweat running down my brow, I make my way to the bus stop near school. I wait for the bus Ikari should be on as I catch my breath. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on schedule, and, I, and a long-haired girl steps off the bus alone. You see, I, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that he was going to be like riding the, riding the back to the bus stop, then just leaning the back against the bus stop and just like catching a ride on a bus. I was gonna say that doesn't make sense. Ohio, Sounds like a good way to lose a bike anyway. She gives me a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is Yukari Izumi. We're both freshmen in class 1A of Sikoi private high, private high school. She's also my girlfriend. She has long shimmering hair doe eyes and a delicate build that makes you worry you'd snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. Basically, she's a girl so cute it feels like a, wa like a waste on me. <laughs> That's Yukari Izumi. Good morning. I am indeed sleepy. I thought about going back to bed, but I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here by herself. That's why I got here in such a rush, but there's no need to make anything of it. I changed the subject. By the way, Yukari, what was our class doing for the festival again? A maid cafe, you say. It's very original. So incredibly original. I've never watched an anime, played a visual novel, nothing that had a maid cafe in it. Never. <laughs> it's so anime. Oh, I see. That's right. That was it. No, that's, that's not true. I say I have no such memory. Kari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment, but she ne nevertheless patiently describes a maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things started with someone in our class reminiscing about visiting a, a successful Akihabara maid cafe on his Tokyo vacation. All the guys threw up their hands in support and applauded the speaker, but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was approved quickly. The vast majority of girls agreed with comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit, and actually I do have something like that. Actually, I do have a maid outfit in my closet. I don't, it just appeared there, you know, I don't like wear that on the weekends or nothing, or... <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Then our committee leader, uh, Ayaka Shinozawa, sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure to prepare a suitable maid uniform for all the girls in class. Nobody was left to object, and our class merely decided on doing a refreshment booth with a maid cafe theme. Or so the story goes. I feel like a food stand is, uh, is an option that involves lots of work for a little gain, profit-wise, but I'll be happy if I... I get to see Yukari in made clothes. As we talk about it, the school we attend comes into view. Looking up into the sky, the sunshine is getting stronger. The glaringly hot summer sun is merciless. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. That is bright. Okay, that's a very slow fade there. Committee leader Shinozawa is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. Morning, Shinozawa. You're early as usual. Oh, 
This, th this resourceful committee leader, who easily realized the boys' collective desire for a maid cafe, is considered by most of the class to be level-headed and earnest. I mean, like, the character Ernest? She doesn't look like Ernest. Did she do like this? I can't remember. It's been a long time. So he does, like, weird things with his mouth. Like, something like that. Ow, I should not do that. That hurt. Um, but yeah, no, no, Ernest do something like that. That's a reference that a lot of people probably don't get. Depends on how old you are if you get that. However, I also know that she's a hardcore uniform maniac. I'll take that as a as a positive. <laughs> Yukari told me that Shinozawa can't resist cute outfits. Her collection doesn't just include the uniforms of nearby nearby high schools, restaurants, and maid cafes. It even goes as far as having the real ones, the real ones, actual housekeepers of English nobility war. Okay. I've heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at home. But the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's understanding. Interesting. I don't want to go into too much detail about what she could be having there. <laughs> Yukari looks to me for help, but Yukari, you're, you're very mistaken if you think you can always get help from me. How are you even supposed to respond to that? You're getting along so well. It feels like the temperature is getting hotter in here. How are you supposed to respond to that? They don't get you punched. Or kicked. you just be like, Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's, that's what you can That's the only thing you can say. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, like, you're not supposed to say something like, It is kind of getting hot in here. I think, uh, I think this is now a no-pants room. I think that would be a good way to get kicked out of... Well, kicked... And kicked out of the room. Hey now, hey now. If you don't cut it out, Yukari, Yukari will get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. It's a bad thing to say. <laughs> One more committee member arrives late. True, let's call it a temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as a member of the organizing committee, I'm getting fired up. Who's this guy, Natsu? She is very animated right now. <laughs> Listen to me! Listen to me! Ow, I should not do that. I just... I think it hurt myself. The meeting starts amidst Yukari's ador adorable protest. Well, that should do it for today. This is only our first meeting, but Shinozawa had already detailed things so minutely that it ends so quickly. You really command things like a military strategist. Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. Don't get that reference. Don't, don't get that reference. She probably has a military uniform that she can wear, though, at home, from what we know. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems in high spirits after seeing everything go as planned. After that quick meeting, we leave Shinozawa and go out for a stroll through the town. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from, from the hot rays of the sun as we go from record store to the bookshop. See, I'm not a huge fan of these wipes. Because it doesn't... It doesn't seem like it rolls very well. It's not the right word to go with that, but... It doesn't... It doesn't kind of like... Is there, is there a thing you can do here? No, there's not. Hmm. Let's not hit title. We go through the arcade and into a fast food place. I drink cold soda in a well air conditioned room. 
Ikari doesn't like soda, so, so she's sipping iced tea daintily through a straw. A fleeting moment in the evening of a hot summer. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in a maid outfit. But I'm surprised you accepted wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it? You mean like Sailor Moon or something? Okay. So how it goes? So even you want to try being someone else, Yukari? Hmm. Considering I know what this game's about. Interesting choice of words. I don't really understand girls' difficult feelings. But if she says so, then it's probably right. You're doing one smart thing there. Just agreeing with her. Ikari looks at her watch. Oh, you're right. As we trade silly jokes, time passes us by. It's not that we're that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular, but just being together makes it a wonderful time. Such times are small and simple, but unique to the lives of wholesome students. And just being able to experience them is enough for me. Yeah, that that these fades are really are, are, are kind of annoying to me. Well then, be careful getting home. <sighs> she told us to watch out for cars. Dang it, don't be telling me that. It's like... Uh, somebody doing something and tell them to break a leg. And then they actually break the leg. Or, you, you know... You tell them to drive carefully. They're going to get in a car wreck. You don't, you, in a, if you're in a piece of fiction, you don't tell somebody that. So, guy, uh, fictional characters, fictional people who are watching this, don't don't be telling people stuff like that. If you're real, you can you can probably get away with that. But if you're if you're a fake fictional person, don't don't do that. You know who you are. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be watching this, and be like, "Am I real? That hurt. I must be real. What if I'm not?" Better test with a knife. I'm not liable. Don't sue me if you stab yourself. Because you don't because you get paranoid whether you're real or not. I'm not responsible. <laughs> See you then. After seeing you car off at the bus stop, I put on my way home. Let's go in slow again. Go fast again. Go 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 at a proper speed. Look up, looking up into the red tinted sky while pedaling, I see a single white cloud floating not that far off the ground. Looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. That was a very quick cut. Roger. There's a little coffee shop next to the residential area, not far from the station, Black Cat Cafe. Did we? I feel like we missed something. Did I miss something? Did I accidentally click something and miss something? What? been helping out at the shop far longer than I've attended this school. It wasn't really a part-time job, rather my family has been on good terms with the people there since I was little, so they're, so they're nice to me as well. But as how busy the owner was, I just started helping out here and there. During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owner than even my own father, who never really played with me much. The owner, Akio Mitaka, runs the shop with his two daughters. There are times when he'll take any help he can get. He runs a shop with his two daughters. If if this was a if this is a big branching uh, visual novel, then then uh, they'll become ma main characters, important characters anyway. Thank you very much. Not now then, or not then. I think they said not then. I've just seen off the last customer. And now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. It's strange how large the inside of the shop feels when it's only two of us in here, since it's a rather small cafe. 
I'm just chatting with the owner since there isn't much of anything else to do. Yeah, it just suddenly happened. So I've been bogged down with preparing for the festival. I guess that's true. Please don't add on any more pressure. <laughs> Yeah, you should know a thing or two about cafes. Really, I, I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that, actually. As I say that, I imagine a grinning Shinazawa saying, I'll take you up on that. So like, uh, the cakes for the maid cafe. How much time is needed to make them, and how much should we spend on ingredients? Oh, sorry, he, he, he kept, he kept uh, talking after I clicked that. Uh, no, the, no, the cooking club has reserved the kitchen. We had to prepare everything in our classroom. Probably. <clears throat> then we'll need to buy one from somewhere. Hmm, if so, then our expense will be pretty high. The owner folds his arms and goes, hmm. That's nice, Alan. What, are you sure? The sudden suggestion surprises me. In fact, the Black Cat Cafe cake sets are known to be delicious even around the neighborhood. So much so that they've been featured in magazines before. Customers would definitely love having those cakes in the Maid Cafe. Ah, Let's say, uh, that would only be proper for one thing, but yeah, it's gonna say that he probably wouldn't be doing it completely for free. That won't be a problem at all. I think we'll need quite a lot, though. Will that be fine? Thanks! Can we go over the details next time? I'll tell Shinazawa about this later. I don't wanna give the owner too. I don't wanna give the owner too much trouble, but, well, this is Shinazawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. There's one more thing I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have uh, time off at the end of the month? My shift is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but it can be changed freely depending on my and the owner's situation. At the end of the month, August 31st is actually Yukari's birthday. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than work. It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. Thank you very much. Actually, there's something related to that that I want to ask you about. Is anybody getting there some type of present? Hmm. What do girls like getting that I can afford? Hmm, that's true. See, I don't know if that would work in reverse. Even though I'm asking him, I get a question and response. I uh, mean, hmm. I don't really have anything I particularly want. I think I'd like anything Ikari picks out for me. So you're saying it's really the thought that counts. She likes music, so maybe I'll find her some violin related accessories. The owner smiles and disappears behind the counter. Why are you going to check on the coffee beans? Welcome, oh, Gikari, it's you. It's you, ma'am. Understood, madam. Would this seat be adequate? A leader to a seat near the window as I say that. May I please take your order? The A combo comes with carbonara, whereas the B combo has a rice omelet. Both come with complimentary salad and drink. I knew you'd go for that. You really like your ice omelet. As to be expected from a regular, quite the discerning eye. It'll be here shortly. Boss, B combo, order up. Do we know how to do that? I'm guessing we do. Roger. As you heard. 
Yeah, I shall not disappoint, madam. I normally, I normally put spit in this, but for you, I will hold the spit. I put on my apron as I head into the kitchen. I, hopefully not. Hopefully that's not something people do too often. Though I don't. I, it probably does help that I only uh, eat out in restaurants very often, or fast food, or anything like that. Help save money too, actually. Sometimes I have to wield the frying pan instead of the owner. Uh, instead, when the owner is busy roasting the beans. Is that what he calls it? I practice cooking fluffy, melty rice omelets so often it's now my forte. Alright, that should be good. Place the omelet over the chicken and rice, cut it down in center to open up a gap, and finish it up by topping everything with sauce. But I feel a little mischievous that uh, I just said I was gonna hold the spit! Don't don't make me go back on my word. Add a little something to the salad. Just a bit of mischief. What is this mischief that you are adding? Sorry to keep you waiting. Wind looks fluffy, melty rice omelet. What did he do? Ikari quickly brings a spoonful of delicious rice omelet to her mouth. Why do girls always look this happy when they eat something delicious? Her happiness is contagious. But just as she bites into salad, her eyes go wide and she freezes up. Oh, so it really is something you noticed right away. Oh my gosh! Zero X star uh, alpha sign, I think. Numeral. Loopy E. Dollar sign. Arrow to the northeast. <laughs> and exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I'm not going to say it again. She furiously washes the salad down with water and looks at me in protest, tears in her eyes. Okay, good. And I was like, what did we do? Yep, I did. Usually there's no okra in the salad, but it's on the house. Do you know it's good for your complexion? Does she have a fork? You may want to take note of this before you do this something like this again. You may wind up with that fork lodged in your leg. <laughs> Don't be mad. You'll ruin the pretty face. <laughs> she doesn't look amused. Hikari puffs out her cheeks, but keeps eating her rice omelet. You say whatever, but you're still eating the rice omelet. <laughs> with warm feelings filling my heart, I look at Hikari and wonder what to get for her birthday. I suggest not okra. I know it's the thought that counts, but I want her to be happy getting it. I'll try taking note of what grabs her attention next time. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's how the game works. Uh, it goes through different days, I guess. Not a lot happened, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it'll pick up uh, in the next episode. Um, yeah, it's kind of getting off on a slow start. Some visual novels... <coughs> some visual novels uh, do that. But, uh, yeah, this one seems to be getting off on a slow start. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next episode. I do sincerely hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell!